Welcome back to our unique channel, the Aurora Restoration Project. Today I'm diving into the next phase of this cabin remodel, starting with the bathroom in cabin B228 aboard this magnificent little cruise ship. I've intentionally chosen one of the most challenging cabins aboard the Aurora just for this project as I strive to bring it back to its former glory. Today we're going to remove all of the fixtures from this cabin. Some of them we'll keep, some of them we're going to get rid of. We don't know yet. I'm going to have to assess this as we go. In this episode, I'm also going to be taking you along on a shopping trip. We're going to be looking at some of the materials, the fixtures, the tiles, things that we maybe can be able to buy at our local hardware store in order to do this job. I don't think we're going to find much there, but that's what we're going to try and do today. We'll be looking for anything that it takes to breathe life back into this cabin after being untouched for over 30 years. But that's not all. I want your input too. Help us make some unique design decisions by sharing your ideas for this cabin. And for those of you with the most popular suggestions, we'll be giving away exclusive Aurora Restoration Project t-shirts as a token of my appreciation. If you're captivated by our journey restoring one of the most historic classic cruise ships on the water today, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Trust me, you don't want to miss the amazing videos I have planned for this crazy and ambitious project. So without further ado, it's time for me to get back to work. My goal for today is to try to take off all these fixtures without destroying the walls and everything around. Some of these pieces, like this accessory holder, I would like to restore and reuse in this bathroom. And some things, like this fluorescent light fixture, I think absolutely have to go. I'm a bit torn, however, on the medicine cabinet. It does match the 1950s and 60s era, but it is a little bit ugly. Can we do better? I guess we'll find out. So far everything's coming out without an issue. Normally we would be stripping screws and breaking heads, but luckily we haven't had that problem yet. This mirror, it's absolutely ridiculous. You can tell by the little nails that they used to put it in. Whoever put this in definitely wasn't somebody who needs to be aboard this ship.
So far, all the wiring seems to be in pretty good condition. I just don't think we want to use this wire, however, if we're going to do a fresh remodel on this room. So we're going to go ahead and buy all new marine grade wire and install that as quick as we can. It literally doesn't weigh anything. This thing is garbage. It's super pitted. Look, look at the pits on that thing. Bye bye, towel holder. Before I dive into the rest of this teardown, I'd like to show you some footage from when the Aurora was just a baby. She was launched as a luxury ferry in 1955, and she was the first significant ship that Germany was permitted to build post-World War II. She would carry passengers to and from Helgoland Island, three hours off the coast of Germany. The Wappen von Hamburg was a technological marvel. She was years ahead of her time. She could carry up to 1,600 passengers on her journey from Cuxhaven to Helgoland. Helgoland Island was just coming back from the devastation of Allied bombing during World War II. Next time I'm in Germany, Helgoland is definitely a place that I would love to visit. Of course, these days she doesn't look like this anymore. Now she's a magnificent vacation paradise. This bathroom's really starting to shape up, and I kind of like the blue walls. I just don't know if we're going to keep those. Now we're starting to finally see those broken screws and stripped heads. I think this handle might have been ADA compliance during the 1960s and 70s. Now for the dreaded job removing the toilet. In my experience, this is never fun and this is probably going to be no exception. These screws seem to just be disintegrating as I try to remove them.
As I guessed it, this toilet's not going to come out easy. This is kind of cool. This pipe here is actually made out of lead. It bends so easy you can feel it. How's that drain looking? Ooh, that drain is ugly. So is the wood that once supported the toilet. I'm looking at this sink from, let's go. Anyway, I see a screw here. If I look underneath, I see all the parts and it looks disconnected. Can't tell. I think we have one that is connected. So we have our, our cold water is connected. The one on this side, this one. This one is disconnected. And I see all of the parts laying down here. And I see right there, that is what's holding this whole cabinet on. There's probably one on the bottom. Nope, nothing on the bottom. Just two screws holding this entire cabinet on. Looks like they completely disconnected this thing and made it a cold water only sink. Seems to be coming off pretty easy. At least it's not completely jammed. Okay, that's broken loose. Um, looks like everything attached to the sink is broken loose. Okay, with a little bit of luck, there's nothing holding this thing on, so we should be able to pull it up now. Actually, that was pretty freaking easy. It's becoming more and more apparent that we're going to have to rip out all of this tile and reroute the plumbing. Also, I think we're going to need to redo all of the walls, probably buy a whole bunch of new tile board today.
Well, the morning's over and this room is starting to heat up fast. I think we're at about 105 degrees right now. So we're just gonna call it a day and hit the hardware store and see what kind of materials we can find. So historically, this exact pattern is some of the bathrooms on the B-deck. It's uh, in some of the public bathrooms on the B-deck. But is this, is this what we want to use? I'm not really sure. This is just, a, just an idea of what to replace what's currently in there. Or we could go update it or change it around. A lot of these tiles are kind of a vintage pattern. Or vintage, this looks more like a wall tile though. actually kind of partial to the little round ones because I think that they would be easy to place I could slip these in there and they would be nice and flat so these things these things seem to be one of my favorites so far I don't know if you have ideas for tile then send me a link to what you can find uh, I'm going for the 50s and 60s look send me a link to whatever tile that you think would look best in this bathroom I figure about 10 pieces of this tile board will redo the entire bathroom with a little bit to spare. So I guess we're just going to pick those up today. I've never seen this stuff before. It's like a foam core tile board and it's really stiff. It's called Go Board. If you know anything about it, uh, write it in the comments below. Maybe we'll get this stuff in the future because it seems to make sense if this stuff is uh, a good alternative for tile board. It doesn't look like this hardware store is going to carry many of the materials and the fixtures that we need to do a 1950s and 60s retrofit on this bathroom. It looks like we're going to have to dive deeper into our search and maybe explore some online stores. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. <laughs> 